is stuck here because of this giant rock, and now they can't get home. We need to build excavators to destroy it before mutant endermen come to attack us. My excavator is gonna be way cooler than yours, Wudo. No way, Mongo. I just have to type slash slash paste, and whoa, an empty excavator just spawned in. Whoa, that's the biggest excavator I've ever ever seen. And when we finish it, we'll be able to destroy that rock. We better change its color to yellow though, so everyone knows that this is now a construction site. That excavator isn't even that big, Wudo. My one is gonna be way bigger. It's the biggest excavator ever built in Minecraft, Mongo. Did you see the scooping part? This thing will easily be able to take down the wall once we can get it to work so we better go in the control area right over here and place down the controls that we need oh yeah can't we just put down like a button and a lever and then randomly press them well that would be a bad idea axie because if you make one wrong move you could destroy the rest of the landscape or possibly even hurt my family that's right underneath it and i wouldn't want you to do that oh yeah you're right little we can't just control it randomly. Exactly, Axie. So, as you can see, I have controls for moving the actual excavator around front and back and left and right. And then I have other controls for the actual arm itself, which will control where it goes so that we can safely remove all that rock. Wuda, your construction site isn't safe. It's the most dangerous one in Minecraft. I bet you people get hurt every day. That is is so messed up and not true, Mongo. So actually, to make myself even safer, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some cones over here by the entrance of our excavator just to make sure that nobody trips or falls off this massive thing. I would never trip or fall off this thing, Woodle. I'm super careful. Uh, uh, ignore that. Axie, did you just fall off right after you said you wouldn't? I can't help it. I have so much energy all the time. Well, maybe you just need some construction training, Axie, to get you strong enough to take down that wall. So, why don't we get you some construction tools to start in our tools area? Our tools area? That sounds super cool. As a construction worker, you need plenty of tools to make sure that you can tackle any job. For example, this jackhammer. This is what you use to break up rock, Axie. Doesn't that look so sick? Yeah, but why is it named Jack? Because that's the name that they chose for it. Why are you called Axie, huh? Because I'm an axolotl. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But then why is my name Wudo? I don't know. I always thought that was kind of weird. Like, shouldn't you just be called Turtle? What? No, I shouldn't, Axie. Stop disrespecting me and never disrespect my cool construction tools. If you think construction and excavators are cool, then I want you to subscribe in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing! Subscribe! And now I'll let you work with me and Axie on our excavator. Check this out, Axie. I even have a wheelbarrow. Whoa, that wheelbarrow looks so cool. Can you carry me around so I never have to walk? It does look like it could fit you, Axie. But a wheelbarrow is used to transport materials. For example, all of that rock. But check this out. You might like this one a little bit better. It's a giant spotlight to make sure that the construction area is lit up even when you go deep at night. Whoa! But as an axolotl, I have really good night vision, so I don't need that, Udo. Oh, really? That's pretty cool, Axie. I'll leave it there just in case. But now that we have all those cool construction things down, we still need some Minecraft items to help us out. Check this, Axie. I have a bunch of really cool tools That'll make breaking all that rock even faster. Look, a redstone pickaxe and a redstone axe. Don't those look so cool? Yeah, and I have the coolest thing of all to add, a wooden pickaxe. A wooden pickaxe? That looks like something Manga would have in his excavator. 
Isn't that right, Mongo? Are you serious, Wudo? My excavator is already doing good work. You haven't even started mining that big rock yet. I'm sure it is, Mongo, in your dreams. Look at this, Axie. This pickaxe and axe is made of paper. I bet Mongo's is probably made of that, too. That's genius, Wudo. I'm gonna add it to the wall. Wait, what? That's not genius. Wudo, how about you come inside and see what my excavator is doing? I don't want to see your excavator, Mongo, because it probably looks trash. What do you mean, Wudo? It's not about the looks. It's about the job that it's doing and my excavator is doing a really good job so far Pluto, i think maybe we should go see his excavator but not to appreciate it we should go prank him oh wait you're actually right axie that would be pretty funny let me just go ahead and put down these drills first though which will help us mine that rock by hand don't those look awesome they look super cool and they also kind of look like ice cream cones so i'm gonna eat it what you can't eat the drill, Axie. If you eat the drill, all that metal's gonna get stuck in your belly. I already ate the remote control, Hudo. It's fine. Anyway, I wanna go prank Mongo. Okay, okay, Axie. Come on. If we're gonna prank Mongo, we're gonna have to be really, really quiet. And we're gonna make sure to get him where it hurts the most at the core of this excavator. And wait, what in the world is that, Axie? That's Mongo's excavator. Excavator. It looks like a big poop. Yeah, it looks like the poop excavator. Quick, I'm gonna grab invisibility so that we can go invisible and stalk Mongo. Oh man, my excavator is already doing really good work. Look at all this dirt and stuff that it's mining. All of my different wheelbarrows are carrying them too. Wudo's excavator can't do that. He's such a big noob. What? I literally already did that. And look inside his excavator. Axie. It's literally all empty. What a loser. And look at the size of the rocks he's mined. This is barely a dent. I could probably do a better job with the pickaxe, Axie. So come on. What we really need to do is grab some rainbow TNT so that we can make things a little bit more messy for Mongo to clean up. Ooh, do it, Wudo. Light it. All right. Mongo's outside right now, so I'm gonna light it and oh gosh it's about to go up and wow whoa what in the world it suddenly started raining rainbow blocks is this my lucky day wait what mongo thinks that's luck now he has to clean up that giant mess maybe he just really likes cleaning you know what my excavator is gonna have to clean all this up let's go oh gosh well i don't think his excavator is going to even work maybe what i need to do is drop one of these inside as well i'm sure that'll make mongo pretty excited and oh my gosh there's colors everywhere oh gosh what in the world happened to the inside of my excavator i'm not even done building it and now it looks like a big pile of rainbow poop <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. At least I turned it from a normal poop into a cool looking one, though. Yeah, Wudo. I would say we made an improvement. But come on, Axie. We need to make improvements to our own excavator, not Mongo's, because our family is still trapped here, and that sun is gonna set really, really, really soon. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab myself some milk, and what I wanna do is add some construction on armor to our tools area some construction armor what's that wudo well construction armor is something that you would wear when you're doing construction to make sure that you don't get injured on the job so let me put down some armor stands and let's go ahead and grab some hard hats wait hard hats i have some better ideas wudo you do what type of ideas do you have hard hats are the only thing that you need to make sure there's a strong shell covering your head and i think these golden helmets should be perfect for the job no i think we can wear this and uh maybe this one and maybe this one wait what in the world taxi a straw hat is not gonna work if a giant rock falls on your head your head's still gonna get really damaged well the best solution to that is just to not let a giant rock fall on your head i know axie but sometimes you can't control those 
those things and then what's gonna happen to you your brain is gonna turn into axolotl mush no it's not ludo uh, at least i think it won't well in that case axie you can go ahead and wear those i'm gonna wear my trusty golden helmet to make sure that i'm all safe Okay, Woodle, how do I look? Ooh, you actually do look pretty fashionable, I do have to say, Axie. But hold on, we still need to put down some more construction equipment. What about our cones? Cones are my favorite thing ever, Axie. And we're gonna need to stock up on plenty of these to make sure that we can show areas where there's active construction work being done. Do you think I can wear one of these on my head? Wait, what? You can't wear a cone on your head, silly. That would be dangerous. Aww, but they look so hat-shaped. I guess you could, Axie, but don't tell me how you figure it out, okay? What I'm trying to do as well is put down a whole different amount of warning signs. When we're doing construction, it's our job to make sure that we warn everyone that it's an active construction zone. So I'm going to put up some of these warning signs like this, and then over here by the cones, I'm going to do a little stockpile of these wet floor signs because sometimes things can get a little bit wet. But I like when things are all slippery. Like when it rains and then I can swim around in the puddles. Well, that's the thing, Axie. Some people don't like to do it because there's a really big chance that you could fall and get hurt. But what we could do is we could train our construction workers to be really good at it. So how about I grab some of these cones and then we can divide an area over here that we can use as a training spot. Yeah, and we can only take axolotl construction workers because they're the best. Exactly, Axie. I'm going to actually go ahead ahead and grab some axolotl construction workers right now but for some reason they look like wizards are these guys like my great great grandpas exactly they're very wise as you can see the axolotl construction workers are going to be a great help for us axi but remember this is now an active construction zone so we need to put up some signs that are warning everyone that construction is now taking place okay woodo what's the first obstacle well, we're first going to go ahead and grab a bunch of mud. I know that's your favorite thing in the world, Axie. And when you're doing construction, a lot of it gets really, really muddy. Mud! I love mud! I'm going to get so dirty. I know, Axie. Construction is a very dirty job, but that's what makes it fun. So let me go ahead and put mud all over here like this. And along the path, we're going to put different obstacles that we're going to be able to use as training for all of our construction workers. I bet Mongo's going to have no training at all because he's just going to make them work for free. What up? My construction workers don't need training. They're already good at their job. Oh, yeah? Well, who are your construction workers, Mongo? Are they creepers? Um, it's just me, myself, and I. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me, Mongo? You'll never be able to finish a job by yourself. Also, I don't think you're qualified. That's what they always tell me, but I have to live out my dreams. Oh, gosh, Axie. You know what? We'll be able to watch all of our construction workers train up past this barrier, but now that we have all the mud placed down, we need to start by putting down some fire. Some fire? Exactly, Axie. Sometimes things can get a little bit hot when you're working on construction, so you need to make sure that you can jump over it without getting burned. Whoa, really? Can we have water too? Water? Oh yeah, that's a great idea, Axie. Sometimes it does also get a little bit wet. So how about I dig out a little area under here and put a little bit of a bottom spot so we can put down that water. And then you can put this octopus on your head. Oh, that octopus is so cute. I think he works as a great helmet to make sure that we don't get bonked on our head, Axie. Hey, you can't use him like that. Look 
look how squishy he is. He's gonna get really injured. Oh, gosh. Okay, Axie. I'll take off the octopus. There you go, Mr. Octopus. You can go swim in the water or something like that. Anyways, Axie, now that you jumped over fire and water, you also need to know how to jump over debris, aka all the trash and stuff from our construction projects. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bunch of different things that could possibly be in your way, like spikes and chests and whatever can be really distracting for people to get across. You don't need to get across them if you just eat them. Wait, what? You're gonna eat everything in your way, Axie? Your stomach can handle that? That's a great strategy, Axie. I tried that too. Thanks, Mongo. How did it go for you? Well, I would say I went pretty well, but I had to poop 3,000 times. Oh, gosh. That does not sound like it went well, Axie. Check this out. I'm currently adding a bunch of spikes and this giant lava trash can that you need to hop across. And look at all this metal, too. I'm going to go ahead and grab some wood braces as well to make sure that it's really difficult to get past. Okay, Ludo, that sounds great. Now, this is looking like a true construction site, except once you get over this debris, there's going to be a different challenge. Any construction worker needs to be good at taking down big rocks. So, I'm going to make a little simulated rock over here that our construction workers will have to use a drill or a pickaxe to get past. Otherwise, they fail. I'm going to go use my paper pickaxe. Paper pickaxe? Is that really gonna work, Axie? Yes, it is, Woodle. Watch me. Oh, wow. It actually is. Though it is really, really slow. And if you needed to get a job done fast, you would never be able to, Axie. So maybe you should use a drill instead or something that goes a lot faster. I'll use my teeth. Your teeth? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Let me go ahead and get an item frame real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a statue that gives you an actual good pickaxe like this drill just like that there we go i don't need that woodle watch me what did you just eat stone yes i did woodle and i would do it again oh no your poop is gonna be really really painful later axi anyways now that i built that giant rock the next challenge is going to be something even better what you're going to have to do as a construction worker is build things too. So I'm going to clear out all this mud right over here. And what you're going to have to do is build a mini hut for this poor little lady that's going to be sitting here. Do you want to know what she looks like? Does she look like an axolotl? Wait, how did you know, Axie? She does. Oh, I just guessed. Here we go. It's another one of our wise axolotls who needs a home. Aww. I don't think she wants to be here, Ludo. Oh, gosh. Really? Well, in that case, how about we get a different type of mob, like an NPC, and we'll make it a villager. See? Or I can play the person who needs to be rescued. I'm really good at acting. No, Axie. I don't know if you should be the actor in this case. Why? I think I should be. Goodbye, villager. Die! What, Axie? The villager is invincible. You cannot get rid of him. This villager stole my role. I am angry. No, don't be angry, Axie. Fine, I'll go ahead and delete him. Yay! Okay, you want to hear me practice my acting? Help me! Help me! I'm in danger. Axie, you need to be more dramatic. Help me! I'm gonna die! A turtle's holding me hot! There we go. That's what I like to hear. Now all I have to do is just finish this up and everything is perfect, Axie. I'll just go ahead and grab a chest over here with pure stone to see what our construction worker will be able to do. And I think that pretty much completes our giant training course, Axie. Do you think you have what it takes to be a construction worker? I'm already a professional construction worker, Ludo. Are you sure about that? Uh, 
Yeah. I see, Axie. Well, if you are already an advanced construction worker, then this path over here will take you to one of our final tests. Redstone is actually one of the most difficult things to construct in Minecraft. So if you can figure out how to make this redstone lamp light up, you're going to win a prize. Okay, Woodle, I can do it really easily. Um, uh, uh, I give up. I'm not an advanced construction worker. See, Axie, I told you you'd give up, but I wonder if Mongo would be able to. Hey, Mongo, do you know how redstone works? Uh, no. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, Mongo? Then you're gonna be a loser when you're constructing, and I don't think you'd ever be able to finish our construction training course. But if you know how to activate both of these redstone lamps, then I want you to comment that you're the best construction worker! Woodle, I'm the best construction worker. Then you better leave a comment, Axie! Anyways, there's our problem. There's the redstone torch, and and there is the lamp that you're going to have to figure out how to turn on. I want to figure out that later, Woodle. Right now, I wish I could take a break and eat some cake. Oh, yeah, you're right, Axie. Construction workers work really, really hard. So after they're done with their job, they deserve a nice relaxing area where they can sit and enjoy some time alone. So how about I go ahead and I set up a different area over here, which will be our chillax break area. Yay! I'm gonna stay here like 95% of the time. Well, you only get to stay here if you work really hard, Axie. And the first thing that we better put down is a nice big TV screen so that we can use it as a movie theater, but also a place where we can show instructional videos on how to be safer when doing construction. Oh yeah, I forgot safety was a problem. What do you have to do to be safe, Udo? Well, you definitely have to wear the right armor, but you also have to make sure that you aren't making any mistakes because if you do, you could end up like Mongo, and who wants to end up like that guy? Wait, what? What do you mean, Wudo? I think I ended up pretty good. Oh, I, I was just joking, Mongo. <laughs> I'm okay. Anyways, Mongo, how is your excavator even coming along? The last time I saw it, uh, I mean, I never saw it, but uh, it looks like poo probably. Wait, what? No, it doesn't, Wudo. I'm actually making some big improvements, and my excavator mined a lot of different ores. Oh, really? Well, we're going to have a lot of different materials too, Axie, right after we have our break area, of course. Look, there's plenty of space so that all the axolotl construction workers can watch those videos. Yay! We should have a stand where our construction workers can get some drinks and snacks too. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, Axie. Let me go ahead and put a nice big table and how about we put those things right over here axie and while you do that i'm gonna go ahead and grab some bunk beds so that even if they want to take a nap or if they're working really late into the night they can go ahead and sleep right in the excavator Woodle, i'm gonna put down a coffee stand do you think i should try some coffee a coffee stand i don't know if coffee would be good for you axie you're already hyper enough as it is coffee is for people that need a little bit of extra energy and our construction workers will definitely need it because of how hard they work. I think I could use some more energy. Ooh, you're adding cake, Axie? I think that's my favorite form of energy, too. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, don't eat my cake. I'm gonna add some donuts, too, because a sugar rush is great for getting a little bit more energy. That's right, Axie. I have to say, you chose some pretty good snacks. But anyways, now that our TV and snack area is all finished, we also need one more thing, Axie. Do you know what it is? My bedroom! No, silly! We already have the bunk beds for our construction workers. What I wanted to do was add soda dispensers so that our construction workers can grab a quick drink whenever they need to. Oh, that's pretty good, too, as long as I can have unlimited access. Well, Axie, are you gonna drink Coca-Cola or Pepsi? I might start a war in here. I'm gonna drink Axie soda. Axie soda? What is that? It's a combination of all the sodas. Uh-oh, is that even safe, Axie? Yes, 
And I'm going to add some coffee in it and some donut powder. Oh, gosh. That doesn't sound exactly too healthy. But you know what? I guess I'm just going to have to take a soda for myself whenever I want. Hey, Mongo, do you even have a soda dispenser? Of course, Wudo. Who wouldn't have a soda dispenser? You have to be a noob not to have one. Well, you, of course, because you're the biggest noob ever. Hey, that's not nice. Come on, Axie. After you enjoy all that food, we do have one big problem. It's got to get out of our bodies. And uh, I don't want to be too embarrassing, but we need a place to poo. Ew. Can we make those weird poop stalls that I see sometimes? Weird poop stalls? What are you talking about? You know, the ones outside that get really dirty and basically are just pooping into a hole. Oh, you're talking about porta potties? Yes, Axie. Let's build ourselves some porta potties right over here. I'm going to make them a bunch of different colors. As you can see, they look really, really cool. I think what we need to do is just put a slide down and then have a hole so that you can poop into it. Ew, Axie! That's disgusting! Then the poop is gonna end up outside on the floor. Porter potties still have toilets, you know. So, let me go ahead and put a toilet there and then what I can do is I can hang toilet paper on the back, Axie. Well, Wudo, I'm gonna make my porta potty and then you can make yours with toilets, but I think mine is gonna be better. Ew! That doesn't look good! That water is gonna turn poop. Poopy! Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Oh, gosh. That really sounds nasty. Hey, Mongo, do you have a porta potties that are cool or disgusting like Axies? They're cool and clean, but whenever you come to them, they're probably going to turn disgusting. Ha! <laughs> Is that so, Mongo? I'm sure it will. Anyways, Axie, I'm going to go ahead and put up the bathroom signs like this and then also a wet floor sign just in case things get a little bit leaky over here. Woodo, I don't think this is right. I'm gonna make this one the girl's bathroom and this one can be the axolotl's bathroom. The axolotl's bathroom? What sign is that, Axie? I don't see an axolotl one. Don't worry. I'm just gonna put this cute little plushie over here and then all the axolotls will know we poop in here. Oh, also the girls are gonna have to poop into a hole, so I'm sorry, girls. Ew, that's so disgusting! Everyone come in Ew! Hey, don't comment, you. My bathroom's the best. But Axie, we have a really big problem. We have all of our construction workers here training up to be the best in the business, except we need actual stuff for them to build with. Once they destroy all that rock, we're gonna build some great houses with our new excavator. So we're gonna need a bunch of materials. Oh, what kind of materials, Rudo? Well, I was thinking that we get a bunch of the usual stuff like stone and oak planks, but there's a lot of really cool blocks that we can get too. For example, a trays of gold or even bamboo, which are all really cool building materials that you can actually use, Axie. See? Whoa, cool. It's so shiny. Exactly. So how about I take this and we go up there and go and find some places to put down all of these materials. For example, check out this area over here. It should be perfect to put down plenty of oak planks. But remember, wherever you put materials, Axie, you need to put a warning sign to make sure that nobody accidentally, uh, you know, makes it topple over and then they hurt their head. I'm way too big and strong to ever topple over. Are you sure about that, Axie? Because I think you are. <laughs> well, you think wrong, Wudo. Look at this. I'm even putting down some valuable materials too, Axie. I should probably lock these up, shouldn't I? Yeah, you need to lock them up from that Mongo guy or he might steal it all for his own construction site. Mongo probably copied everything from our excavator. So we should probably check it 
out before the sun sets. Oh my god, we're here to check out your excavator. And oh my gosh, it still looks like a giant doo-doo cavator. What do you mean, Wudo? Look all the things we mined over here. Oh, these are all the stuff you mined. I guess that's pretty cool. But that's not going to distract me from the fact that your excavator looks like a giant mound of doo-doo. And also, look at this hole. It hasn't gotten any bigger. So where did you really get all those materials? Exactly, Mongo. Did you cheat it in? Um, you're asking way too many questions. You can come inside and check out my excavator, though. Oh, finally, it has an interior, Axie. But everything looks so brown and poopy. <laughs> you could only probably have, like, one other construction worker here. But who would want to ever work for Mongo? Wudo, look, I have multiple seats and multiple beds. We could have at least five people in here. Very very interesting, Mongo. But it's not as cool as our excavator, Mongo. Why don't you follow me over here while being extra careful? I want to take you inside the greatest, biggest excavator in Minecraft. Wudo, it's not bigger than mine. Of course it is, Mongo. Why don't you come inside our control room where we control the excavator? Yep, we use the remote control that I ate. It's inside my belly right now. Wait, what? How is that even possible? Well, Axie thinks she can control it with her belly, but in fact, you need to use these controls to control the body and the claw. Whoa, that's actually really cool, Wudo. Exactly, Mongo, but how about you follow me right down here where the actual fun starts? Right over here are our extra large iron chests, which have so much space that you can use to put any materials you want to store. No way way these can probably store that entire rock we could definitely store you inside those two mongo if you get too annoying should i put you inside of there no 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 stop it okay fine mongo well then how about you come over here and we get you kitted up in some actual construction gear go ahead and take some cones some signs and of course your tools that you need like a drill pickaxe axe and of course your jackhammer whoa whoa let me also get my hat real quick. What? Mongo, you need a construction hard hat like this golden one. That thing is a wizard hat. Are you wearing two hats at the same time? That's stylish. Wait a second, I am. Oh, okay, Mongo, fine. Well, then how about you come over here and let's see if with your hat, you can finish our construction training course where you'll learn how to be a real construction worker. Okay, fine, Wudo, I got this i just need to do a backflip over the fire then i need to do another flip onto the water and then wait a second there's spikes here okay let me do another backflip just like this and then oh gosh now there's a huge rock i need to use my drill to mine it exactly monko come on get past and now that you're over here it's time for you to build axi a house so i'm gonna use our little train over here to drop your materials wait what i need to build her a house okay quick what i need to do is grab some blocks real quick hurry i need a house right now i need a house too hurry up my girl okay three two one and uh guys your house is done what in the world are you building a giant chimney wait axi i think mongo's trying to eat you he can't eat me i would eat him first what no way, Axie. I would eat every one of you really quickly. Wow. Well, Mongo, you did technically build a house, though it isn't that great. I guess it still is a bit of shelter, but here's what you won't be able to do, Mongo. How about you figure out how to connect this redstone torch to these lamps to make them light up? Hmm, interesting. Well, all I need to do is just take some redstone and then connect it to this, and boom. Oh, wow. You actually made it light up, 
Congo? Well, for that, you get the prize of being able to relax over here. We have a bunch of cake, donuts, and coffee. And if you like, soda. <gasps> no way. <laughs> but but yeah, you can't eat everything, Bongo. You have to share with our other axolotl construction workers who are all sitting here on the couch watching Wudo videos. Wait, what, Wudo? These axolotls are all old. They can't do construction. Hey, they might be old, but they're 10 times more in shape than you. Exactly, Mongo. I bet they could do way more work than you can. You probably need a little nap, which is why you need to come over here and sleep in one of our bunk beds. Wudo, I don't need to take a nap. These axolotls, their backs probably hurt. They need to retire. No, they don't. Look at them. They're floating around, so they won't even get back pain. Axie, stuff him in the porta potty. Uh, wait, what? What are you guys doing? Get in there, Mongo. Go in the porta potty and poop your pants. Oh, gosh. It's disgusting. It smells like Wudo's poop in here. What? Ew, that's terrible. But quick, guys. Now that we have this giant excavator, we better get rid of that rock because otherwise the mule and Enderman will come. Okay, quickly. You need to press the button so the rock can disappear. All right, guys. Put your hard hats on because we're getting to work. Let me just flip these buttons real quick and oh, wait. Guys, it's working! Let's keep pushing them so that the way is clear for my family! We're so close to getting home! Yay! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.